God. Just be normal. Just hug her. Hello. Just hug her. Nice to meet you. This is awful. What's up guys? I'm Tyler and I won, if you can count it as winning, a girlfriend on Bestie Picks Bay, which was hosted by the band Why Don't We. Uh, it was probably one of the most uncomfortable experiences of my life. But it's fair to say all rules of reality shows apply here. It's not as real as you think it is. Where to begin? So this whole thing started by someone reaching out to me on a casting website that I have a profile on. And they asked me if I was interested in being a part of Seventeen Magazine's show Bestie Picks Bay. I hadn't heard of it. I've heard the name Seventeen Magazine before. I thought it might be some kind of scripted thing. So I agreed. They set up a FaceTime interview and the first question they asked me is, are you bi, straight, gay, what are you? And I said, uh, I'm like pretty much straight, but you know, I could, and the person said, all right, well, we need you to be straight for this. And I was, whoa! <laughs> So that was a lot. And then they asked me if I had any like fun facts or anything and I said, yeah, I walk on stilts. That would come back to haunt me later. After the interview, I went on YouTube just to really get a feel for what I was getting myself into and I did not want to do it at all. I feel like I have no part in any sort of reality thing, let alone a dating show. But a friend of mine talked me into it, pointing out the videos get a couple million views sometimes and this could be a good way to kind of get some, I don't know, FaceTime. So I agreed. I went into the shoot hoping I would maybe say a funny thing or two and then get voted off. I had no intention at all of making it towards the end. So I show up at the shoot and there's a bunch of other guys in a holding room. And for the most part, everyone was really cool. I had a good time hanging out talking to everybody. There was another Tyler there, Tyler too. Rest in peace, man. Everybody at the shoot was really cool. And we were all kind of trying to figure out who this special guest host was gonna be. They said it was gonna be a celebrity so this video would get a lot of views. So we were all there thinking, hey, they're gonna put our handles on there, Instagram, YouTube, something, and it'll help us get some publicity. They don't do that, just so you know. So remember, you don't get paid and they don't share any of your social media, so arguably there's no real point in doing it. And on top of that, most of the guys there had girlfriends. And that just adds a whole other layer to it. And I remember a lot of the guys were saying, yeah, my girlfriend did it last week and she said I should do it to try and get some followers for Instagram. What? So after a while, they kind of hoard us into this thing that they called the Bay Box. <laughs> It sounds so gross. So they put us in the bay box, which is essentially a bunch of walls that they have set up in the studio. They cram us all in there and close us. So we're hanging out in there and then eventually they say, all right, and here come the bays. It makes sense why y'all were just in a room and... Oh my, hey, how are you guys all in there? We all walk in, <laughs> there's this poor girl, Jenna, who was gonna get bayed. Ba bayed? <laughs> She was gonna have a bay by the end of it <laughs> and she was sitting there blindfolded and we all walked past her and it had a really weird vibe especially because the set is pretty much a porn set white carpet rose petals really creepy and then the boy band is sitting there why don't we I hadn't heard of who they were one guy in the group Brandon who you should follow on Instagram knew who the band was and he was pumped about it and I wish any of us had the enthusiasm that he had but we were all kind of saying, I don't know who that is. So they line us up and then they go down the line one at a time and we would do our shot saying, hey, I'm Greg, I'm from Paris and I speak three languages. My opening line was, hi, I'm Tyler, I'm 23 and I have scoliosis. <laughs> I say, don't worry, it's acute. And the band says, did you say it's cute? And I said, no, it's acute, but it is cute. And that got a good laugh and I was, great, they can vote me off now. Then the producer says, wait, let's take it again. Tyler, say that you walk on stilts instead. I'm Tyler, I'm 23, and I walk on stilts at haunted houses. Oh. I screwed myself on that one. So we get through intros, and then we start rolling through questions. And the questions are just, ugh. They're like, what's the fastest you've ever driven a car? I don't know. Then they ask, how many people have you kissed? And some of the guys are like, oh, four. Like, come on. So the weirdest thing about the shoot was we didn't really hear from Jenna at all and I felt really bad for her. Like she was just sitting there and why don't we was just running the show. My intention was never to make it far in this shoot. Every answer I gave I thought was like, oh this might be funny, but they'll vote me off. But this band was trolling Jenna by who they kept around. There were a couple really nice guys that I thought, hey, she might like them. They got cut. But somehow I make it to the end and I'm like, oh God. But then it's just me and Malik. And I think Malik is a shoe in He's a sweet dude, handsome guy. He's gonna win. 
And we get to our closing remarks. You should choose me if you want to date an actor and you like being emotionally unstable. <laughs> but honestly, <laughs> really. Malik comes up and he's like, I'm gonna protect you. I'm gonna take care of you. You're gonna be my everything. This sweet answer. <laughs> and they pick me. I literally looked at the camera and went, but then they have us do reshoots where I'm celebrating and doing the YMCA and <sighs> I felt so bad for Jenna. <laughs> I really did. And for myself because I figured I'm gonna get fired from my day job because I'm gonna be late. So then they introduce us and I'm clearly uncomfortable. <laughs> and, <sighs> and then the handshake hug. <laughs> I'm never gonna forgive myself. Look, in my brain I was thinking, I didn't talk to this girl once, and we've been in here for three hours, and I didn't want to be like, come here, bae. So I was like, I don't know, be nice. No, even Seventeen Magazine in the premiere of the video said, awkward. I'm like, come on, I was trying to be nice. So that was rough. And then they're like, hey, talk about what you think about each other. And she said, oh, he's nice, he's cute, he has a nice outfit. And I go, oh, she's cute, she has a nice outfit, and I like her docs. I like to think I'm a good actor, but I could not act like I wasn't uncomfortable. <laughs> so then the whole reason why the band is there comes up. They're gonna play us a song. So this happened twice. The first shoot, we were standing on opposite sides of the band. I've never heard any of this music before. I'm so uncomfortable. And they're singing this song, and I'm just kinda going, we should try this. They make us reshoot it because we all look uncomfortable. Shocking. So then, Jenna and I just stand next to each other and still I'm uncomfortable and we're kind of nodding and she likes the band So I was happy she got to see him So then we get through the second take of the song and the band goes all right We're out and they have me act like I knew who the band was I didn't I was intimidated for sure when I walked down I was like she's best friends with why don't we I hope our first date is a why don't we concert Then we wrap up and Jenna and I just kind of chat for a sec exchange Instagram handles say hey We'll do a reaction to this at some point. Thanks for waiting Jenna Jenna's really cool. We kind of keep in touch now and then on Instagram, just supporting each other's stuff that we make. She makes videos as well. I'll put a link to her channel down in the description. She's really cool. Give her a follow. I left that shoot just kind of dumbfounded because I really did not want to win at all. But hey, it happened. What are you going to do? I don't want to seem jaded though. If it's what you're into, I'd say give it a shot. Just remember they don't pay you and they don't put your Instagram or Facebook or YouTube or anything. So unless you're lucky enough to comment your name below when they premiere it, probably not going to help you much. And I don't know, that's really it. Be sure to like the video and subscribe because I do have regular sketch videos and vlogs coming out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon. <laughs>